Hey everybody, Scott Henniger here with the home team and eXp Realty. And I wanted to quickly show you our two newest listings. Um, we're both on, uh, they're both on Johnson Chapel Road, one's right next to the other. Um, so we'll, we'll cover them both at the same time. And if you don't know where Johnson Chapel Road, it is on the Virginia side of town, barely. Matter of fact, the back property line backs up to Tennessee and actually a little small corner of the property is in Tennessee and I'll show you that when we get back there so we've got a lot of property a lot of buildings um, and a little bit of house to show you so let's take a look and, and as you can tell it is hot today I am burning up so let's take a look let me flip the camera around and I'll show you the front yard to start with okay that is Johnson Chapel Road in front of you pretty front yard Nice landscaping, well kept up. And before we go inside the house, let's take a quick look at the property out here. So this fence line is not the property line. On the other side of it, there's a chain link fence uh, next to that house. This lot here in between the two fences goes with it. The whole property is roughly four acres. This, of course, is just the front part of it. It goes on back pretty much to the tree line. This building's part of it. All right, this is the main house. So this is 24200 Johnson Chapel Road. And I should have this on the MLS today, by the way. But, uh... That is the second house. Both of them are three bed, two bath. So let's go in the larger of the two houses. Um, throughout the home, there's either tile or hardwood. It is single level. And I'm gonna flip this over to the wide angle lens so we can see a little bit better. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Here's a living room. This is a dining room, if you like. That's looking down the hall towards the bedrooms and baths. And here is the kitchen, which has been remodeled. It has granite countertops, nice cooktop there, um, new appliances, nice backsplash. It's a nice space, big and open. There's plenty of counter space and lots of cabinetry. And you've got this little eat in here if you want to set a breakfast table. And that door leads to the garage, which we'll go out in just a second and see. This is one of the largest laundry rooms I've ever seen. By the way, you see there's a TV monitor there. They do have cameras. Um, two or three places just to keep an eye on things. Just a lot of property. And here's the garage quickly. Freshly painted floor. Okay. That's a central back, by the way, if you haven't seen one before. Okay, from the kitchen, we go to a den. So you have two living areas. This one with a gas fireplace. And then just off this den is gonna be one of your favorite spots. This is a beautiful sunroom. And it gives you some great views out of the back. Look at this backyard. I can just imagine sitting out here and having a cup of coffee in the morning. And again, sorry I'm going kind of fast, but there is a lot to cover here, and I don't want to miss anything. Here is the first bath. This will be the guest bath. It's got a newer vanity and a shower tub combo. Let's go down the hall and look at the bedrooms and the master. 
Here is your first spare bedroom. Okay. Second spare bedroom. These floors are so pretty, in very good shape. And this is the master bedroom. And here is your private master bath. And this one just has a top, uh, I'm sorry, this one just has a shower. So it is, appears to be in excellent shape. I know the owner has really taken good care of it. Um, things you don't see, uh, the heat pump is relatively new. The entire crawl space has an encapsulation system to keep any moisture out. Okay. And again, that is the house next door. So, um, you have a shared driveway, the property line, yeah, we'll, we'll see here in a second, but it runs roughly down the center of that driveway. And you know, there were, there were family members that lived on the property, so it wasn't an issue for them, and I'm sure it wouldn't be an issue for you as either. Yeah, metal roof. There's that sunroom. All right, so I'm going to take a walk down toward the building building is roughly 3,500 square feet. Now this uh, building you see to the right, by the way, is part of the second home, not the one we just walked through. I think I said this already, but the property line's roughly the tree line back here. So let's check this building out. Right now it's being used for storage, but um, there are a lot of possibilities. Oh boy, just look at these views back here. That pretty. Okay. They go all the way to the end and then I'll pan around and you guys can see this building. It is huge. Like I said, the ceilings, according to the owner, are 40 feet tall. There's a lot you could do with this space. Good concrete floor. Um, to the left here, this is actually set up to um, be a paint booth under the paint cars. And this automatic door at the end, uh, there's no problem driving a semi through this thing if you wanted to. It's big. I don't know what it would cost to build one of these structures, but it's not just a metal building like you typically see. Okay. By the way, there's a neighbor that um, will come and keep the hay cut and take it if you like, or you probably could get some money if you wanted to sell the hay, I'm not sure, but it is a possibility. 
which again, more of the land that goes with it. And the Tennessee line is, eh, it's kind of at the back of this. There is a small portion of it that goes with, goes into Tennessee. So while I'm here, let's take a look at the second property. And this is 24182 Johnson Chapel Road. This is a barn. We'll go in that in a second. This white building in front of us here, uh, right now it's storing lawnmowers, but uh, this would make a great mechanic shop, and I'll show you why. Obviously power and water. There is a bath in here. There is an office with its own bathroom. It's just used for storage now, but you can see the possibilities. This could be someone's office. And here's the bathroom. back outside this is the backyard of the property of course this is the barn some feed troughs set up if you need them seems to be in good condition um, what I've checked, the posts are very solid. Okay. Now let's go check out the second house quickly. Now the first home, um, don't have an exact figure, but it's roughly on four acres. This second home, which we're getting ready to look at now, it's on, I think, 2.6 acres. It's a little smaller. Um, I didn't get into price, but this one we have priced at 250,000. The one on 2.6 acres, it's about 1,500 square feet, and it is a three bed, two bath. The larger one, which I showed you first, right now we have that priced at 379. Okay. Here's your front yard quickly before we go in and it's so pretty and quiet out here okay coming in the side door of the smaller house in front of us, this is your dining area. It's big. And the kitchen, of course. Big eating bar. You can probably seat four people there easily. Okay, good many cabinets. New fridge. This is the front door. So if you came in the front door, you walk into this big living area. Hardwood floors once again. Gas fireplace, propane. This looks back into the kitchen. And this is the hallway that leads to the bedrooms. So there's one of the spare bedrooms. 
second spare bedroom. And the third bedroom. And let's look at the bath on this end of the house. It's been updated. Looks like some luxury vinyl plank floors. Newer vanity, there's a shower tub combo. And let's go back through the kitchen. And we'll take a look at the laundry and second bathroom. Here's your laundry space. And your three quarter bath. So that wraps it up at Johnson Chapel Road. Um, 2.6 acres with the smaller house. It's roughly 1,500 square feet. And we have that one priced at 250. Gonna wrap up from Johnson Chapel Road. Appreciate you guys paying attention and sticking with me. I know this was a long video, but it was a lot of property. 24200 Johnson Chapel Road, priced at 379. It's a three bed, two bath. 25 no 2025 square foot home with the large building and roughly four acres of land and then we have 24182 Johnson Chapel Road priced at $250,000 and it is about 2.6 acres and the home is 1500 square feet approximately again a three bed two bath if you need anything have any questions want to learn more just contact me on my cell, text or call 423-612-5357.